Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel. <clears throat> Today we will talk about the difference between the web application and site collection. In SharePoint, uh, users or normally the beginners always confuse between the SharePoint web application and SharePoint site collection. You know that these are two different terms and they have two different purposes web application is different thing and site collection is a different thing you must have a better understanding of these two different things so that you may work uh, with a better understanding you can develop better solutions so first of all if we come to the manage web applications you know web application is actually a big container it's a big container with the uh, and with nothing because whenever you want to create any web application uh, all you need to do is uh, you just go and to the central admin and uh, whatever what you do you go into the central admin and in central admin you just click new And uh, you create a new IS based website web application of SharePoint so it's very simple I'm leaving it default and uh, in uh, you know that uh, in SharePoint server subscription addition an addition feature that you can specify uh, the secure socket layer at this point as well uh, till SharePoint 2019 this option was not available but now SharePoint has uh, given you the access to do so here and uh, after that this will be the custom URL and this is the content database that will be created And here you will click OK. Okay, uh, whenever the web application is created, uh, your web application will be uh, a website <coughs> that will be hosted on IIS, that is Internet Information System Manager. Here, if I go and see here, you can see that a new uh, website of SharePoint has been created here. But the web application is nothing but an empty container. Empty container means that if you go and browse this uh, web application, you will get nothing. Because there is no content or there is no site that exists within that web application. Because web application is nothing. Okay. So what it's going to do whenever it finds that there is nothing to show it will just close the connection and it will tell you that your web application is nothing so there is no need to worry about this thing because you must have an understanding between web application and site collection site collections or sites are created under the web application it means that whenever the SharePoint web application is created after that you must, must go into uh, central admin and in central admin you are going to create a new site collection here you will change the web application that is this one and here you will define that uh, your site will have first site so we are going to create first site collection or the first site under the web application and that is the actual difference between the web application and site site lies under the web application and without sites web application is nothing but for creating the site collections uh, you must first create a web application or all the site collections or all the multiple sites regardless of how many they are they must lie under one web application or any web application without web application they cannot exist 
So logically, if I speak, web application is a container, and in that container, multiple sites are created. So here you will define that this is the uh, site, and uh, these will be the administrator of. Uh, primary and secondary administrators and uh, we will click OK. Now here you can see that your first uh, site has been created and this is the top level site because you have created it on the manage path of root. We have already discussed about the manage paths in our previous videos that I uh, uploaded two days ago. If you are my subscriber, you must have watched that video and if you are new viewer, I uh, recommend you to go to my channel and watch that video. So uh, now this uh, web application contains one site collection. So it means that if I again refresh that page, it will now give me the site interface of uh, the site that I have just created. So now you can see that on this port that is 45248 on which a new web application was created. Now it's giving me some interface of some site that has been created on the home page or the root manage path of that web application. So this is the actual difference between the SharePoint web application and the SharePoint site collection. Without web, uh, web application, site collections cannot be created because site collections come under the web application. And without uh, site, uh, web application, site collections cannot be created because web application is the container in which all the site collections will be created. So I think that it is quite clear and uh, understandable to all of you. And uh, I, I thank you all for watching this video. And uh, all those viewers who are new to my channel, uh, I recommend you to subscribe my channel, like the videos and go to my channel and enjoy more interesting videos. I thank you all.